Hey everyone, I'm Bill. I'm with Cali Moto TV. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the garage. Uh, first, I gotta give props to my, my baby, Bogna. Uh, she got me this amazing shirt, so I thought, thought what better way to break in this shirt than <laughs> working on the boxer. Um, but we are in the garage working on the R9T racer and uh, we've got some bits to add on it so we are going to be doing a couple of things i want to give you guys a quick walk around the bike and show you what i've done to the bike i have done a few mods to the bike um but today's video as you saw i have a ton of carbon fiber bits to put on the bike um but i've got some great info so uh, i wanted to share this all with you put it on the bike uh, i know the r9t is probably maybe not the most popular in the garage but it is by far the coolest. So let's do a quick walk around the bike. Let's see what mods we've done and then let's get on to putting on these carbon fiber bits. All right, so the mods that we've done on the bike, we've got some lighting modifications, we've got some header modifications, some muffler modifications. So let's go ahead and flip this thing around and uh, let's start with the big boy header. Um, this is our boss exhaust header. Um, it is a two into one and it is catless and you can see the um, the the pipe is ginormous I mean this thing is is so big so so big so two into one it's just so rad I love it so that's boss exhaust now um, I will say that when I bought this it was I was kind of under the impression that the um, the exhaust came with the mufflers but it did not it only came with the headers so if you guys look up the boss exhaust uh the headers are expensive they're about a thousand dollars but they are by far the raddest coolest looking headers so just something to keep an eye out on um we do have the radiator guard on uh we do have the bar end mirrors and so we did do the mirror deletes. I'm not sure what we're going to do with the bar and mirrors, but we'll, we'll see kind of what happens. Um, and the big thing on the back end, obviously you guys can see the, the uh, tail light eliminator and the license plate eliminator, which I'll illuminate here in a second. Um, <clears throat> cool little bracket for the muffler. Uh, I got that off of, uh, well, I'll, I'll share it all down below, but I got it off a website on, online. Um, and then again, bar and mirrors. Uh, I have done a little carbon fiber stripe down the middle, which is kind of cool. I did it more for the zipper on my uh, on my suit. Okay. Um, so again, there's the the header from the other side, and to the front end, we do have a new light, which again, I'll share where I got this stuff from, but let's go ahead and light up these guys so we can show you guys the back tail light. So this tail light is the Amazon light. So it, I'm not, I'm not a thousand percent happy with the fit. You can kind of see up close. You can kind of see it doesn't fit the greatest. It's not the worst, but it's not the greatest. Um, we do have the suspension fixed a little bit. You can see the tire already rubbed there on the on the plate cover, but we did get that um, fixed up. And then we do have the blinkers there on the bottom, so super cool. Um, and then right up front, the new headlight. What's super cool about this is we do have the, uh, it's got the halo. And then when we start it, which it won't start because uh, it's got to be running. I'll show you this when I get it running later today. But the headlights and the, the cool, it's just, it's just a rad light. It's super, super cool. But why we are here, why we are here right now, um, the bits for the carbon fiber. Now, my boy, Eddie, you guys, you guys, I talk about Eddie, Eddie, I got to give Eddie a minute right now because Eddie can paint anything. He's painted the Sriracha bike. He's painted the R3. Uh, you guys see covered up right here. You guys see we've got uh, the 300 Ninja 300. It's covered because the body work is back. I just haven't had time to get it on and do you guys a video, but the Ninja 300 build is almost complete. We're going to do another video soon, so stay tuned. But Eddie does do um, hydro dipping, and I had all of these bits, and I ordered some extra bits, and I 
asked Eddie if he can dip them, and without further ado, um, he has done an amazing, amazing job. So we've got our valve covers um, dipped in carbon fiber, our air intake dipped in carbon fiber, um, our key uh, protector, and some of the side vents, the starter cover, and the injector covers. So we're gonna get all of this installed today on the bike. So, um, and I'm gonna show you what the final product is. Now, we did decide to do matte, matte carbon fiber. I wanted that raw carbon fiber look because the paint on this might be changing. So you'll have to stay tuned. So let's get this stuff installed. It's getting hot. It's hot here in Dixon. It's been a uh, hundred and something degrees this week. So try to get this stuff uh, before it gets too hot. So let's go ahead and switch over to our GoPro and um, take you along with the install. All right, guys. So uh, first thing we're going to grab is going to be our uh, intake. Oh, also, I didn't show you guys. I did get a little vent intake here, um, which is kind of cool. Didn't stay very straight, but um, okay. So, and also, we do have some vinyl 3D cutouts coming out for this. So, this is going to be black. Um, so, all right. So, we're going to get this lined up here, and this just snaps on the back side there. So it kind of goes See, it's challenging. It's starting to be a little challenging. There we go. There we go, there we go. And where are our holes? Our holes were off. go. We've got our holes here and so we've got our bolts. These are our bolts here. And I should grab some of my new nifty torque wrenches or T-handle torque heads I believe is what they are. So there we go. Get this installed. Um, so this stuff was very, very easy to come off. Most of it is a bolt or two, um, so not too much, uh, not too much of an issue. All right. So we can see torqued on. So we're gonna start on this side. So super, super rad. Oh, so excited. So excited. Um, this is, so these I got off of the same website um, and it's, uh, you'll laugh, all right, it's Alibaba or Ali, AliExpress, but this stuff, it's cheap from China. It's all China stuff. This is all China stuff, the after stuff. So this, um, the valve covers, um, some of the other bits, the headlights, the taillights did come from Amazon, but these little bits. So it's, you know, they're not the greatest, but I spent like $40 on this stuff. So it was not very expensive at all. So, you know, why spend, why spend a huge amount of money on plastic, right? I mean, look, I'm all for spending for quality, but you know, we're talking, we're talking just some plastic bits. So, uh, and the fitment is decent. So if I can get this thing started. Oh. So the fitment's decent. It's, it's not the greatest, but it isn't the worst. So, all right. So see that there and my lights flickering. I got a flickering light. So let's work on this side. All right. Um, that's on. And then we do have, let's see, this is going to be our, on this side. So I have already removed. So you're going to remove one, two, three bolts. And that's where these clip in. And they do provide you longer bolts. So they all fit. So we're going to go right in here. 
and we'll start getting these all lined up. God, this looks just right. It's so uniform, it's so perfect. So the hydro dipping stuff, you know, these valve covers, if you get them in, in real carbon fiber, um, you know, you're looking, at, you're looking at a few hundred bucks. So um, just for the valve covers. Now, Eddie, my boy, Eddie, Eddie, thank you so much. Um, he, he has done all of this for like, I think he dipped it all for like 350 bucks or 300, $300 for everything. So the, um, you know, the cost savings and it's, and it's all plastic. So, you know, but look, I'm not trying to like, you know, are we trying to real do real carbon fiber or are we trying to like, is, is there a major, uh, weight reduction that we're searching for, or is it really just, um, a look? And f honestly, for me, it's just the look and it looks like real carbon fiber. So I'm going to stick with that. So, so right in here, right in here. And so, um, looks super, super sick. Looks so sick. Oh my God. So like I said, we kind of went with this satin look. It's got a little sheen to it, but it's not shiny, obviously. But this is what makes it. This is what makes the bio. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Amazing. Um, so we have, uh, I'm going to fill that hole with a, a kind of a dead screw. So, um, oh, and then we've got our bottom plates. So these, these guys go down here. Let's see, oh, just, it's so, it just is the look. Now, you guys know this is my street bike, so I'm not really, for me, it's about the looks and the sound and just the amazingness. I think that's it. Oh, we got one more bolt back there. Thought we had three. We got one more guy right here, so let's loosen this guy up. All right, so we've got these bolts up and on and tight. And yes, yes, y'all. Yes, y'all. All right, so this guy goes on the other side. This one. Okay, so now we've got these bits. So let's take these guys over to this. So we've got the starter going here. Top plate going there. Bottom going there. This one going there and our very top one, our valve cover. So let's go ahead and I've removed those bolts. These are for the bottoms. These are for the sides. That's for the top cap. Bam, bam, bam. All right. So let's get straight into the valve cover I think needs to go on first. So the valve covers, they come with these little cushions. So once the cushions are in, they stay in, but you got to kind of get them in. So, all right. So we're going first bolt in here. Now I hope you guys can see some scuffing. And um, I, think, I think my knee puck, I can't imagine, I don't know, maybe, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm as crazy as this is, but... Um, the, uh, I'm not sure if I, I doubt I scrape it when I'm moving around on the bike, but needless to say, I, I do. So I should have put the valve cover on the other side first. The reason why, um, the covers go on first is because the, um, the little thing here when you put this other cover, the, the injector cover, which is something, uh, uh, obviously this, the injector cover doesn't come with it. Um, so let's get this over here, get some light over here. There we go. Um, the injector covers are additional, uh, along with the valve covers. Starter cover was stock, so I pulled it off. And this top piece, all these wires were kind of stock. And I do want to zip tie that up because I noticed it creeping out the other day. 
at the track. So let's get this tight. And grab one zip tie. Because I want to throw it around this little bundle right here, my little bundle of joy. Uh, there we go. Snippy snips. All right, top cover. So we're gonna cover this guy. And these go with these are our little torques. So I decided to hook these lights up. Uh, I got to give props to Chase on two wheels for giving me this idea, but uh, clearly the power inverters don't work correctly that I ordered. So I will have to be getting some new ones. All right, okay, it's just coming together, baby. Coming together, coming together. All right, now, down here, you guys will notice that the um, the starter, I've had to remove the starter cable here um, to get this to slip on. Because when it slips on, the light would be wonderful right now, is it slips on Come on, baby. All right, and then it clips in. And then you'll notice that the starter wire kind of goes back on. So this goes, loops back through. It's right behind. So it goes right back here, over, and it actually holds the cover kind of in place. So that goes there. And then we've got our little bolt and Put that on. I'll tighten that down and then that goes on. So perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Um, go ahead and throw this guy on. We are here. And again, um, for here, I'm going to put this dummy screw, like a dummy screw in there. See what I'm looking for. Looking for this guy. All right, so this will go here. Maybe I should have put this on before. go there we go there we go up and last but not least we got our torque for hey look at this all right so this guy goes right here and one in the back this um so some of the plans we've got, um, our exhaust is coming, Two Bros Exhaust. Um, he is custom making me one. So if you guys watch the Two Bro Tour, uh, great, great video. You guys got to take a look at that. Um, but 
Mark had me out for a nice tour, so it was very, very nice. So we decided on what we wanted to do for an exhaust for this thing. So he's actually making me a custom exhaust for it, so it should be pretty rad, so. Um, and there, and the final, and I'm gonna final torque all this stuff later. Um, but I wanna get this up. And bring it down so we can get an, a kind of bird's eye view. And also I want to install the cap. So our final piece is our cap here. So the keyhole cap is right up here. Oh, so nice. So rad. Let's get up here and show you guys here. Oh, so cool. So cool, so cool, so cool. So um, I just, like I said, there's just a couple final things. Um, I've got, I gotta get little whole, uh, I'm just gonna put kind of dummy screws in there. But so, so, so rad. The carbon fiber has just made the extra bits on this. Again, we're gonna get a little bolt there. But it has just pop, pop, pop. Look at this. God, I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, guys, so the BMW is all put together. Just amazing, amazing, amazing. The bits, Eddie, thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much because these bits, they look absolutely amazing. I mean, it just makes it pop. So make sure you look down below. We're gonna link uh, Eddie with Shred Dog, Hydrographics, and uh, Custom Paint down below. He does all of our paint work and all of our hydro dipping, um, but please contact him if you guys have anything. Um, I do wanna show you guys real quick. This is, this is the box that basically everything was shipped in. So, you know, it's not that big of a box to be able to pack that stuff up. And he got it back to me, had it nice and wrapped up, bubble wrap and everything. So um, you guys can ship him your parts, whatever you want. He can do anything. Dream it and he can do it. So make sure you uh, check out Eddie. But um, thank you guys so much. Uh, we'll link everything down below, but uh, make sure you hit a comment down below if you have any questions about the R9T racer. We're going to be back out on track. Uh, actually, we're going to be on a street ride this weekend. That's why I had to get this going because we are going to be back on the street. So stay tuned for that video. But thank you guys so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for all of the likes. We appreciate it. I love the channel. I love you guys. I love all support. So thank you very much for supporting us. But please hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. But until next time, we will see you next video. Thank you, thank you.